Erica, honey, I'm down here to um, holler at y'all for a quick second. I have a run to make. I got some place to go. So I said I will record a video. And we don't have anything to talk about. But as I was walking to my car, I was like, I do. I do want to talk about the brand ambassador to Mucinex, Ari Spears. That's who I want to talk about. I want to talk about the nigga who looked like he lotion with black and mild. That's who I want to talk about. That's who I want to talk about. I want to talk about the nigga who looked like his heart is about to explode in his fucking chest. That's who I want to talk about. I want to talk about these niggas really believing that they are the prize. And didn't I tell you that? Didn't I tell you the other day when I was talking about Ray J that as long as these niggas is funny, they know that they got you on a hook. And Ari Spears can walk around looking like the fucking Hamburglar who ain't got no sleep in 14 years had the nerve. It gives these niggas like that the nerve. The nerve. The black ass audacity. If one thing these niggas with dry skin under their fucking eyes, bitch, if one thing they don't fucking have is they got audacity. They got audacity. They ain't got shit else but audacity. Aries Spears. Aries seems to think, I don't know why. I like, I don't, like I said, I don't know why. But at the same time, I was listening to the things that he was saying after he got called out for saying and talking about Lizzo. Saying that Lizzo looks like the shit emoji. Saying that Lizzo looks like a plate of mashed potatoes. And, 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 saying that with his chest and his stomach hanging over his motherfucking belt. He's saying this. Lizzo don't do nothing but mind her fucking business. And this man, let me tell you something. That was a alley-oop. That man asked about Lizzo on purpose. Don't think he was innocent in this shit. Because they do that all the time. He asked, oh, Lizzo's music, yeah, you know, Lizzo, her face, look at your motherfucking face, nigga, look at your face, my nigga, look at your face, and you have the nerve, what do the people say, the unmitigated gall to say something, you look like, girl, I, the other day I was cussing his ass out. I was like, let me not record a video. Because I'm going to really be hollering at him. Because it be the ugliest niggas. Ugly, 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 ugly. I don't give a damn what you say. You ugly. You ugly. You're ugly. And if you didn't have the access and the microphone that you have, no woman, unless she was, you was paying her, would fuck with you, nigga. And you know it. Let me make sure this motherfucking thing is on. Hello? Shit. Because we need to give the brand ambassador the Mucinex. We got to give his old... You look like... <laughs> this nigga, look... How you look like that, my nigga? How do you look like you eat black and miles, my nigga? How do you look like that? And you have the nerve to talk about Lizzo and her body. I know I'm big too. You goddamn right. That's why you need to shut the fuck up. But you know you live in a society where women, a man with his ugly ass, can sit up on Beyonce's fucking internet and disparage a woman and, and be like, girl, and look like that. And look, I don't want to put his picture on the screen because some of y'all might be eating. And I don't want to ruin anyone's appetite. But I could tell you what he looked like. He looked like, you know, the little babies in the cartoons with the diapers on and have the real raspy voices. You know, the ones that sound like old man. He looked like a grown up version of that motherfucking baby. You look like baby Huey. You look like you wear diapers. You look like that. You look like you eat everything you see. 
You look like your sugar is high as fuck. You look like you own medication. If you not, baby, you need to go get a checkup because I can bet you bottom dollar your biometric screening is going to come back fucked up, my nigga. You look like you sleep with a CPAP. Come on. You have a lot of nerve. And let me tell you something. As fat as Lizzo is, I bet you couldn't get your ugly ass on a stage and twerk and play the flute at the same time. I bet your motherfucking lungs would collapse. Raggedy ass niggas. Always talking shit about somebody. That's how I know these niggas think they the prize. Because they sit their ugly asses on the internet and talk shit about women. Nothing is wrong with Lizzo. Nothing is wrong with her. She doesn't bother anybody. How the fuck would you, how come you just couldn't stop at, yeah, she has really good music or I haven't really listened to her music like that. No, you're going to have to attack her physical appearance that has nothing to do with her talent to your point. Because you got your fat ass on the, and I wouldn't lay back. I wouldn't be on my back for too long. You might choke, nigga. I wouldn't lay on my back for too long because you could choke when your stomach moves this way and them titties move this way underneath your neck. Yeah, rotten ass nigga. You got a lot. That shit pissed me off. I said, you ugly. Like, no, it's always those dudes. It is always those. Look at you, bro. Look at you. I know I'm ugly. All I need to do is make a bitch laugh. That's all you need to do. Yeah, you women. Y'all sitting up there. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Why? Because nobody's big enough the way your fat ass looks on the internet. No one's pouring into you. Because you don't ate up everything. Shit. You look like that. Have the nerve to talk. Girl. Ari Spears and Lizzo. Not bothering nobody. Not saying anything, not even in the news to the point where you could like, somebody wants to make a comment about something she's saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Lizzo was in the news the other day for blah, blah, blah. What do you think about what she did? And then you go off on your opinion about what she did and then start talking shit. Yeah, her music is okay, but that body. Girl, you look <laughs> You're an ugly bastard. You're an ugly bastard. And if you didn't have the microphone and the money, no one want no woman without pay, without full pay up front. Ain't no half and half, half at the beginning and half at the end. No, I want all my money up front if I'm going to lay down with this scab of a man who looks like if I move the wrong way, his fucking lungs will collapse. Just like the swollen, old swollen finger Samuels over there. The high sodium man over there talking shit about fat women. And your ass over there with your heart exploding in your chest. You got some fucking nerve. You have some goddamn nerves. And it's always you, nigga. When was the last time you went to the doctor? And looking at your grill, when was the last time you went to the fucking dentist? Let alone your health. I could tell by your face there are some deficiencies there. I could tell by looking at you. I can tell by looking at you, you are deficient or have too much of something. Sugar, cholesterol, whatever. You look like you got all the things that black folks have been plagued with. All the things they say black people get. All the fucking medical issues that black people got. Aries got them. Ask him about it. He got it. He could, he could tell you the goddamn symptoms for it. Ask Aries. I bet you his fucking ankles are swollen. I bet you his toes are swollen. I bet you that motherfucker's balls stank. You the one that got to take an extra shower. You got to take a shower when you leave. Take a shower when you come back. Sheets be wet in the morning. I already know it. I know it. I know it. Raggedy ass. That's all I really had to say. That's all I wanted to say about Aries. I don't have nothing else to say. But the one thing that you niggas do have is audacity. The audacity to sit up there and look the way you do. And have something to say about a woman who has, like, for no reason. Like, no reason at all. What was the reason? 
Oh, I knew it was going to come. Looking like that, you better have known. I'm sure. Is your vision okay? Because you know they say it fucks with your vision too. Because like I said, the way you look, looks like something that's lacking. That CMOS ain't going to help. Goddamn. Baby Huey looking. I, I don't have nothing else to say about him. But it's always you niggas. Always. I gotta go. That's enough of talking about Aries. That's been 14 minutes. Good. This has been brought to you by Mucinex. Bitch ass nigga. Mucinex, Black and Miles, and Diabetes. That's who, it, that's who it's been brought to you by. Take care of each other and protect your energy. Peace. Girl wasn't finished. At the end, at the end of his one of his videos, he had the nerve to solicit sex and ask if anybody wants to come over. So some nigga can lay on top of her breathing like You like this girl? That's what you fucking sound like on a bitch. And your dick probably is shriveled up. It's probably soggy as fuck. You probably got to drink a Viagra shake because I know whatever medication you want got your dick shriveling up after two minutes. You can't even jack off right. I know it. I know it because if you if you care anything about your health, you're taking something for them dark circles under your eyes because that's a deficiency somewhere. So I know it's fucking with your erection, honey. Oh, yes. And you want somebody to come over there. And so you can spread your your dry ass body and your skin. Nasty motherfucker. And so she can have two minutes of pleasure, 30 seconds of pleasure while you over there rubbing your big old stomach on her. Ugh. Now I'm done.